Hello, I thought I would do a short little video to show you what I learned about batch processing today. I think it could be pretty helpful for some of the data analysis you do. So let's just dive uh, right in. Uh, what, what's cool about batch processing is you can take a, you could build a batch processing um, analysis template, which can consist of a workbook with data in it and you can add graphs to it and, and do any sort of processing that you need to do. And then you can run this workbook on over and over onto your different data files. And you can kind of put that all together and, and do like a big analysis on a bunch of data at once. So I'll just, um, just add some, you know, kind of arbitrary data in here and I'll, mess with it a little and, and none of it's very important. So uh, try not to focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll just, uh, well, what I'm doing with the data and we'll just focus on the batch processing aspect of it. So here, uh, here's a CV curve. Um, it's not a very pretty plot. I'm gonna pause this recording real quick and, and make this pretty and, uh, and come back. And we're back. Okay, um, I made this a little prettier. I also linked uh, this middle line to the worksheet title so we know which uh, part and device we're doing stuff on. Um, so now we have this graph and this workbook. Let's add a few columns um, and we can insert this graph into the actual workbook to make our folder a little neater. So we'll just click here, um, click, oops, add it in there. Okay. Okay. Now it's really teeny. We can't see it. So let's uh, highlight all these and click merge cells. So there is our data and our graph in just one, um, one neat little spot. And uh, this is, well, I'm throwing this one in the garbage. All right. So now, okay, we want to analyze the data, right? So let's uh, let's do a linear fit. I know it's not supposed to be a linear fit, but this is arbitrary. So um, let's just do a linear fit on on the data, okay? And that's going to print out a couple of worksheets with information about our fit. So uh, what I'm what I'm concerned with is our uh, our intercept and our slope. Let's say so. Let's add a new worksheet in a couple of columns and we'll call them let me just look back real quick intercept 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 error slope oops oh ah and slope error okay so now that we have that uh, let's link that to this data. So um, intercept and error, well, control C, copy that. And now we are going to, we're not just going to paste it. We're going to go to edit, paste the link. So that's going to stay linked. Um, so when the data changes in our template, when we put new data in, that is uh, going to change as well. And our slope and slope error. Oops, I just copied and pasted exactly what I just said not to do. So let's paste the links. Okay, great. And so now we have the theoretical output of uh, what, whatever analysis that we just did. And now let's say we want to do it uh, four times. Um, oh, let's rename this and call it our results. That's helpful. So now we're going to save this file, save. Okay, we're going to save the workbook as an analysis template. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to write over this a linear template. Yes. Okay. So now we have the template done and let's do some batch processing. File batch processing. Um, so we're going to use that template that I just built and we're going to import some files and forgive me. Um, okay, so these, let's do these four. 
it takes a little while so all right um this delete intermediate workbook uh you could check it or not um it's really a matter of what you want if you check it uh, these template workbooks will not print out for each data file and you're just going to get a results window i'm going to uncheck it because i i want to look at each of the intermediate workbooks and and the results file so um, we want to put in our data set identifier so we know what we're looking at in the results results window um, the results sheet is just called results remember we just renamed that that's this sheet um, and the data sheet is this one okay and everything looks good let's go ahead and press OK it's gonna take just a little while to to do it all and dun, dun, dun. so here's our summary so for all four different files we have uh, the you know whatever the result of whatever analysis we wanted to do and you can take a look at each one you can say oh look well okay obviously the scales a little off on that but I mean over and over you just did the same thing without wasting a ton of time so you're welcome <laughs> okay thanks bye